Greetings and salutations, cadets. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Yeah, it might have been, you know, quite some time since our last video. I'd like to say a little bit over a month, give or take. It's been a bit. It's been a bit. But, we're back. Um, I like to say everything here seems fine. Yes. I guess we'll just jump right into it. Uh, the last time, like, we jumped into Gungeon, we're basically at the point of the game where we've done every single alternate weapon skin, alternate skin for each character, so all the paths are cleared. Honestly, we're just building up, like, our credits for unlocks within, like, NPCs and all the other good stuff. But aside from that, though, like, everything else has been pretty much done. Like, we, we finished all of our shortcuts, we did boss rush mode. We've killed Advanced Dragon, we've killed the Rat, pretty much every single run. Uh, yeah, we just need to find NPCs, you know? Ah, uh, who do I want to play as? You know what, it's been a little while, let's play someone, I guess, simple. <laughs> and go from there. Magazine Rack. Ooh, the bigger boy! Maybe. Uh, Stat Bolt's a great DPS increase, I want to get that unlocked. Uh, I mean, Roll Bomb does synergize with with our heroine. The, the gun, not the drug. <laughs> it's a Metroid reference. Fine, our two have shown. I shall draft a ballot to match the song of your gun. But the hunt goes on. Ooh, Unicorn Horn. The next challenge is a bit tricky. Those damn wizards. Hunt Gunjurers. Kill 40 of them. Oh yeah, that's right. We're we're doing the the frightful slash green mouser challenges as well. Which by the way, um hey you guys, if you have any questions about Enter the Gungeon, make sure to follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash gracenote, the O is a zero, or join our Discord. Um we have a dedicated channel in that in that Discord server where if you have any questions about the game, wanna share a sweet run, hey that's probably the place to do it. But if I am online, hey, don't be uh, afraid to, you know, ask a question. I have 2,000 plus hours in this game, and I still adore talking about it. So if you have something you want to talk about, or have any, you know, questions that I can potentially help you with, be more than happy to. But I feel like we should just jump in. It's been, it's been a hot minute since we played, so I'm hoping there's not a lot of, uh, I guess growing pains for today. <laughs> I guess we'll see, huh? But hey, it's just like riding a bike, right? As soon as you're like thrust onto it, you're like, hey, well, now I remember, I guess. <laughs> Plus, it's not turbo mode yet, so, you know, who knows. Uh, what'd he give me? Ooh, glass guans, don't go. That's not too bad. So I guess, like, for this run, we'll focus on actually talking about everything that we pick up and... I guess try to break down exactly where they fit in your general inventory. Like, where do you want to use them? What's the point of it? Does it have any, you know, dope synergies that I want to look out for? Stuff like that. So there might be a lot of, like, wiki research <laughs> while we play today. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how much I remember off the top of my head. Like, in terms of hard numbers, like, maybe not a lot, but in terms of, like, general stuff, maybe. The other things, too, is just, like, let me know, like, what you guys want me to talk about specifically. Um, like, I don't mind doing, like, a, like a whole stream of consciousness type thing, going over, like, my, my decisions when it comes to resources, why I'm doing certain things. But if you want me to delve deeper and like, oh, like, why why do I value these weapons? Or why am I not doing this, this, or this? Like, yeah, I'll be more than happy to answer that. Like, at least for, like, right now, I am definitely trying to set myself up to be able to go down to the Oubliette, which is the secret chamber one. But I have to invest two keys into that, though. Which, most times out of ten, that means I'm not going to be able to open up open up a chest on Chamber 1, which is not necessarily, like, a run-under in any way, shape, or form, but it's a 
Like, sacrificing your ability to open a chest down here is kind of like, okay, I want to play the RNG a little bit slower, right? I want to test my RNG in rolling for room rewards for an entire other chamber. Worst case scenario, I just get like a whole bunch of money. And if I do get key drops, well, hey, what do you know? Like, now I have, you know, another set of chests that I can roll against. Maybe get something okay. Like, with the exception of Pilot, pretty much every character can reliably do the Chamber 1 boss fairly easily. Pilot, it's just scary. Because <laughs> you have to play at the same... Ooh. You have to play at the same range as the Convict, basically. But with a weapon that's not as reliable. <laughs> so sometimes it's just really sketchy. Oh, man. I want that, too. And I really want that, too. I think... I think there's a thing here. Oh, man. 60 total. I'm fairly certain... I'm fairly certain that I will get enough for both of these things, because I really want both of these things. So I just need to make seven shells off of the boss fight. I think I could do that. Uh-oh. I don't know. I really wish I actually hit that shot, because I think my secret room's right there. Let me check the other rooms really, really quick. The only other place like I think it would be was maybe here? If it wasn't in shop. So I really like Sling, because... It deals a lot of bonus damage to bosses, right? Um, it's not too hard to aim if you're just going for direct shots, but if you bounce a shot off the wall, like I do a, a ricochet shot, it actually deals, I believe, double damage to a boss. That's that's a ton. Like we can look it up really quick. Hold on. This is this is probably good to have like an accompanying thing of like, oh well, this is exactly what, how much it does. Uh, let's see here. Sling, sling, sling. This will be like the moment where I'm just like, here, let's take a look at the stats in the video. So, sling. Uh, damage per shot is 25. If it's to a boss, that's an extra two and a half times damage. That's pretty dang good. Like, to put that in perspective, I believe, like, most starting pistols deal, like, what, three to five damage per shot, give or take? That's pretty dumb. So, if you're getting a ricocheted shot into a boss, that's 125 damage per shot. That's pretty nutty. And that type of damage scales pretty well, like, all the- whoops. All the way throughout the game. And it can get even dumber once you start getting pretty, uh, nice bullet- uh, I guess... Bullet modifiers? Like, if you get ghost bullets with this thing, like, cool. You may not even have to worry about, uh, you know, landing complete ricochets. You can go for a direct shot, and if it's standing next to a wall, it'll just bounce off the wall and hit him in the back. So you get the damage twice. It's, uh, it's pretty nasty. One of my favorites. That's a mess. <laughs> you see how much damage it's doing? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> was like 10 shots, 10, 20 shots. Uh, that Winnie Chester, though. I think that's actually just barely enough <laughs> to get that key. Oh, hey. Nice. Alright. Barely enough? <laughs> Alright. I think the kind of a uh, 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 semi upsetting thing is that. You guys will, like, get really mad at me for deleting a red chest. But I assure you guys, it's okay. 
it is perfectly fine. You do not need whatever's in here to make sure you win a run. There are other factors at play. Like if you quote unquote need like something from this tier to even finish a run, I think there are other things in your gameplay that need improvement. So people will call me blasphemous like, oh my gosh, Chris, you just skipped over a red or black chest. How? How? Why? Why would you do that? It's so good, isn't it? I'm like, yes, but oh, okay. Oops. I think I angled that. I angled that dodge roll way more than I needed to. I needed to do a, just a straight horizontal to the right. <laughs> but like, Chris, why would you like get rid of a, a a black chest? Like, it's so good. Like, aren't S tier items or guns the best thing in the game? I'm like, yeah, but honestly, I still like going to Oubliette a lot more. Because again, like, I'm playing... I'm rolling the dice more, because there's another chance that, you know, I could get another, like, red or black chest down here. It could potentially happen on a room chest drop. I might find, like, a really powerful NPC, like, like, uh... Like, I might get a vampire down here, and then, like, I will solve pretty much all of my money issues, you know? There are a lot of things that can happen down here, and the only way to do that is just, you know, going further into the dungeon. So, like, if you're able to do all of the other, like, extra secret chambers, it's like, it's more chances to roll the dice. And that's not a bad thing. Like, sometimes you have to think about the game in that, in that fashion, where it's like, okay, it's more rooms. And there are other, like, things, like, there's other, con like, subcontexts as well on whether or not you want to go to extra chambers. Like, do you have that ring of chess friendship that I saw in in Flint Shop? Where, oh, well, I have a higher chance of getting, like, chess as a room drop. Like, outside of, like, my normal, uh, like, uh, room award chance, you know? Or if I just have, like, for whatever reason, like, I have, like, immediately out the gate a, a high coolness run. Where it's like, okay, I have a higher chance of getting... Rewards anyway, so why don't I try? There's always context for everything. Keep that in mind. <laughs> we'll just not pay attention to when I dove headfirst into a pit without gauging the distance. <laughs> um, I mean, more than likely we'll at least buy that key here. We'll see how much more money we make. Who knows, I might go... We might actually have, like, enough to get more. Like, who knows, maybe there is a vampire down here. That would be great. So, play a little bit here. Mushroom in the middle. Just watch the stationary bullets. Some of them are going to reflash, and just need to watch the pattern. So, play here. We're using a different weapon for room clear, so we could just refill the boss clear right now. And this is free, that's good. Just wanna be careful like whenever I decide to roll. Mm, I still don't want to slow play here just because there's a there's like multiple veterans. Spike out the poop. And we're good. Wow. That many enemies in this room, we made four shells. <laughs> Feels bad to play standard mode. <laughs> Sometimes the game just doesn't want to give you money. It is giving me a shit ton of hearts. That's cool, I guess. Is it though? How cool is a lot of heart? Okay, now, now this is the time when we really want the game to give us a vampire NPC room. This is the actual true time. Please say nice things to Mr. R and Jesus. Maybe, maybe he'll be a good guy. Maybe he'll give us a reason for all these hearts, right? Unfortunately, the thing right below me is a shrine room, and it's probably just going to be a gunman. No, it's not. Oh, it's a blood shrine. Don't really want that. Don't really care for it right now. Just 
Just weave through the patterns. Play it nice and chill. Spec out what's close. Punch out for the bullets. Pick the table. Oh, I was about <laughs> I was about to walk into that pit. Like, I'm trying to get to a veteran shotgun pin. Oh, no, we got him. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Go back down this way. Mm -hmm. Alright, we took out all the uh, rooty, rootin' tootin', hoity, and shootin' threats, so now we only have slimy boys. Gosh dang it. <laughs> All these freaking hard pieces, man. There's not really much I could do with it. However, comma, I have zero curse, but we get a free mimic. That's really nice. And it's really hard to make that happen. Like, that's... It's a really low percent chance that you just get a free chest like that. How did I know that was a mimic? If you pay attention to a chest, like, sometimes... Oh... Sometimes it'll, uh, like, make a little animation, like it's breathing, because, you know, mimics are alive and they're trying to eat you. So I was like, oh, cool, that's neat, that's free. Unfortunately, it was also free because, uh oh it was free because it was just a mimic. I kind of, like, did that really, really badly. <laughs> I kind of walked towards the danger instead of, you know, backing up to the safe corner or taking out the low HP veteran bulletkin that was right here. Instead, I went towards a machine pistol bulletkin and a chance boy. A chance... chance belong. That was not the play here, chat. Just letting you know. I will also kindly remind it has been probably more than a month since I played. <laughs> so I'm still busy getting my, uh, my sea legs back. That's what they call them, right? <laughs> um. Can I sell the infuriating note? Does that even sell for anything? Because it's theoretically in my loadout, right? Or it's in my, my ammo Namakon? Keep going. I mean, that was the last one! Down, down, left. Up, down, left? Right. Can I drop it, though? Will it not let me? Oh, oh! It's an... You can't drop it. That's interesting. Uh... None of these are really worth picking up except for the key. And even then, like if I'm trying to aim for our rat key, it's a bad... It's bad news bears. We won't have enough money for it. So if like if we really want to go for it, we have to pretty much stop here. We Or stop buying stuff. I'm surprised that actually hit. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> okay. There's no master round for down here, so that's okay. I didn't think that was actually going to bounce down into the, the tunnel. Then again, I almost never do that pattern that way. It was kind of like more of a... Uh-oh. He is actually jumping towards me with this pattern. That is always the worst. Like, he even went to mostly direct hits. He went down pretty fast. Oh, hey. Fox Cannon. Nice. I really like Fox Cannon, and the well dress energy is actually pretty dope for, for boss clear. So, here's what this does. At the end of each clip, it actually shoots out an armor <laughs> that explodes. So, I mean, it could be- it could go either way. Like, you can flex this into boss clear or room clear. The poison is really nice overall, since most enemies during room clear are susceptible to poison. And the explosion is just nice. 
Like, there's never really a bad time for it. 72. Like, I really want to get that, that green chest, you know? I really do. I just don't think it's in the cards, man. I mean, I guess I could sell... Well, I don't want to sell my t-shirt cannon. For sake of the... The, the synergy. And I think I'm going to rely on Winchester Shotgun to work uh, room clear until, you know, we get out of there. Which we really didn't talk about the Winchester Shotgun. Solid damage, it's, you know, it's a really good shotgun. I feel like you could maybe have like a little bit more ammo, but aside from that though, it's solid for room clear. You can use it for boss clear if you have nothing better. But since we have sling, we can just rely on that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save up for, for rat key potentially, and we'll go from there. I could keep my junk, potentially have a junk and run if we hit that, but... Or I could sell it. Or if we get a junk and shrine, well, you know, we get free armor. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. That's not even halfway, so we give it to T-Shirt Cannon. Because that's back to nearly full. And actually, T-Shirt Cannon gets the synergy as well, so actually, I think we'll just keep using this for, for room clear, huh? Cool. That was kind of a random guess, too, on that uh, secret room being off a shop. But it worked out. Otherwise, I would have just spent a little bit of time going around the room and seeing if there, I could find one. That. That bonus shot is pretty dang nice. I think we can slowly still play this for a little bit. Oh, need that. Need you. But this time, I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't drop into the pit and make me lose the key again. Because I've had that happen one too many god <laughs> one too many times and i am eternally sad because of it yeah that final shot does a lot of damage nice uh, it could be off of shop i guess we'll go ahead and unveil shop just so we have the teleporter anyway yeah, i mean it could be right here come on I'm going to do something a little bit faster here. Just because I never really trust myself in these rooms. Sometimes I just get <laughs> tunnel vision and just end up eating a rando shot. Actually, we will do this too. Without taking damage, okay. I could do that. I hope. Nice. Alright. Well, if it's just going to do that... Huh. Alright. Guess it's gonna be one of those. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> 0.5 curse. We're starting the spice train already. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. You guys. Mm -hmm. Just stand behind the pillars. Cause I hate the space spiders. They're really annoying, guys. Huh. See? what I tell you guys? Back with a vengeance. And a blank for blank, baby. Didn't lose that blank for nothing. Alright, I, I hope that I get it like a random key drop. We haven't seen one except for that key uh, that key bullet pin, which is good. I'm happy that we finally got one, but I would like more. Because who doesn't want more keys? You know? Everyone loves keys. 
I only have like 21 of them for some reason. And even then, like, who cares? It's a lot of keys. It's cool. That can be a nice, unique fashion statement. Um... Mm, yeah, okay. Like, T-Shirt Cannon is still good for pit kills next chamber. And that explosive armor shot is just too good. enough shells for literally just the rat key. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. I mean, bright side is we get to open up a red chest. <laughs> Give me this. Blood brooch. So we're at one and a half curse. Basically... Blood Brooch kind of acts like the Blood Shrine, but instead of having to stand next to, um, you know, afflicted enemies that have, like, that, the red aura for Blood Shrine, you just deal damage. And you can get hearts back. But, you know, if you have a lot of armor, or you just don't really take a lot of heart damage, yeah, it doesn't really do much for you, unfortunately. We'll pick it up just so, like, if I find a cell creep, which we probably will by at least chamber four, we could just sell it. <laughs> Whoops. Let's go for direct shots here. Just make it easy on ourselves. Whoops. Gotta stay a little bit close to the pattern. So we can continually punch her in the face with rocks. Go through. Go through. Try to drag her near the top. Turn around. Turn around. If you can walk through the pattern, cool. Otherwise, like, you know, he could dodge roll towards it. Oh. Blooper. It's blooptastic. It's another really good shotgun. Got extremely heavy knockback. Um. If I were a secret room times two, where would I hide? Maybe other outside a shop, maybe? No, okay. <laughs> Ten shells away from a key. That feels a little bad. Wow, wow, wow. It's junk. It's health. It's sadness. Wait, I can't remember. What did we get from? Oh yeah, we got we got spice from gunslinking. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna use the rest of my um, Winchester ammo for room clear down here. And then we'll move out from that. Uh, oh, Abby, gonna see your bro. Brother, I'll burn. Who is one of the goodest boys? He is, though. For real. So the good thing about Abbey of the True Gun is that it typically has two secret rooms. One of which, guaranteed, is Brother Alburn. Which he'll give you a, a free, uh, whatchamacallit? A free item or gun. Because you're a great, awesome hero. He'll ask you a question, but it honestly matters not what you answer him with. All that matters is that in your heart of hearts, you are a good boy. Or girl, you know, whatever. <laughs> Ooh, see that knockback though? Hmm. 
That's not really down a lot. And we still have that uh, supply drop. We can do <laughs> the eight shot box extend here. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Empty. I should be able to slow play the rest of this room. Ooh, free armor too? Don't mind if I do. That is efficiency, you guys. Play at left side of the room, just so I'm free to circle straight here. Change direction. Still play this. Because he has no threat to me. Oh. That was a waste of a Winchester shot. I don't think we needed to do that. There's no secret room south of this chest room. This leads me to believe that there might be an NPC room somewhere. That well, would make sense. Honestly, I should be able to slow play this too. Both of these enemies don't really have high uh, HP. Hey, okay, NPC room. Huh? That's probably Brother Alburn. His room is always notated by a blue chest. We, pff, we probably will not have enough money for that. We'll probably just buy the key and uh, call it. I had a feeling he was going to teleport there. Maybe more than a feeling. More than a feeling. Oh no, we're not going to de get demonetized here. Good song, though. Good song. You know, I kind of feel bad for... What are these things called? Tarnishers, I think? I kind of feel bad for that one. He was stuck in a position where he couldn't do his job. You know, at all. Feels somewhat bad, man. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. I was actually about to dodge roll back into that for no good reason. Hey! Finally. Finally got that key drop. What I'm talking about. Oh yeah, if you end up going into Abbey, no matter what your curse level is, there are some rooms that just have a guaranteed jammed enemy in it. It's the same thing with uh, Chamber 5 too. That can just happen. Your ground chest? Oh. Ooh. Sure, you know what? We're up to two and a half now. So, I feel like Finnish Gun gets a really bad rap. A lot of weapons in D tier... People, like, like to meme on them, right? Like, oh, it's so bad, this weapon has no use whatsoever. Like... Shut up. <laughs> like, not, not for nothing though, man. Finish Gun is actually... F Finish Gun is actually super solid. And I'll tell you why. It's got damage that's comparable to your starting pistol. It's got free piercing behind it. It's actually really solid for early game room clear. I'd probably say, like, maybe all the way up into the Probably Chamber 2. Like, it's actually a godsend in in Oubliette, for sure. Just because they're they they tend to spawn in large clumps of enemies in some of the big, big rooms, and having something that pierces is pretty nice. If you don't like the reload time on it, which is actually still again comparable to your starting pistol. You can drop reload it. Can't do that with your pistol, your regular pistol. So I mean if anything, if you don't want to wait for the reload time, just like Spam the whole magazine of finished guns, switch to your starter, and finish out the room. Not that bad. It's not that bad. Just saying. Um, key for sure. So that way we can actually open up everything on this on this uh this chamber. 
let's go ahead and open up our chest first, and then we can get out. Ooh, this gives me the option to steal later. Well, I mean, I could steal now. We're at what, three and a half curse? Blue item. Blue items can be really good. Like this one. Utility belt. Um, I believe it's like a 10%? 10, 15%? I think it might be 15%. Hold on. Utility belt. Like, one big thing. Oh, it's 20%. We get maximum ammo increased by 20%, and we gain an active item slot. For free! Well, I mean, not necessarily for free. You gotta pick up the item. But that's, that's really freaking good. Uh, hmm. Do we want to gun munch some stuff? Honestly, I, I don't have a weapon that can go with Unfinished Gun into this. Because unfortunately, like, we got Unfinished Gun a little too late. Because we're not... It, it's kind of outscaled at this point, and I don't want to... I don't want to... Use it. Or... I have better options. Faster options. Okay, I just had to make sure, like, I already picked that up. I am Brother Alburn, knower of several truths. If thou seekst open mind, truth chest, and ponder mine question thusly, thou thou feel lucky? Yeah, always. Verily it must be so. Receive thou reward, O truthful hero. Wink. You know, we always need some extra money, right? <laughs> You know, sometimes it'd be like that, though. Oh well. That's fine. Let's go say hi. You know what we should've done? We should've actually bought a blank. Too late now. I've committed to the bit. If you just stay near the walls here. What? Okay. Back to the wall with you. Go to this side. Yeah, that's why I don't like dodging through that one at all. Not like that, though. Like, I've tried to... ...do it a different way, where I weave through the entire pattern, and that's been a lot more consistent than doing, like, the dodge roll through. Like, it's a little bit of a tighter weave, but it's possible. Like, if I can do it in turbo mode, you can eventually learn how to do it in regular... Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We have no more hats. It took a lot of hits here, but it's okay. No master rounds down here. Remember that, guys? And we got our hat back, so it's fine. Crap. Mm, I should have waited. I forgot about this. Well, you know, it, it, there's no way that I could have known. I got two good I a good weapon and a good item here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna be sad. I'm not gonna be sad. Not gonna be sad. It's okay. It's okay, guys. No problem. No worries. And also, we like Void Core Assault Rifle. It's fine. Still gonna use the crap out of my Winchester shotgun here. Um, is there anything else that I want? Oh, there's no blank here, so... See? Look, it's fine, chat. No worries. Hakuna Matata, you know? All right, we're looking for a rat room. Now we'll actually spike this out instead of having to deal with this and the Kohler in the room. Oh, the Kohler's dead. Never mind. All right, we're looking for rats. Rats, rats, rats. I'm just gonna poop in here. Okay. Ooh, nice. Go this way. Man, that extra attack speed that we were getting from the, uh, 
all that spice. It's pretty nice. Double key. I mean, in essence, we're sacrificing a key and two blanks here. There's a little scrap McGrath, but it's okay. We do have an extra blank in store, so maybe we end up buying that at least. So we can have one blank going into the Chamber 3 fight, which would be nice. Be very nice. Just get really close to these things. I don't have a lot of HP, but they're really annoying because they move about the room. And they can get really awkward angles on ya. Four and a half? Alright. So that is... we're up to what? Four hits of spice now? Get over here. Now the spice is starting to actually give us a damage increase. Granted, our accuracy is getting a little worse, but that's okay. The damage is nice. Because you know what they say about spice, it is indeed very nice. Still not seeing our rat room, though. So play here. Wait for this to dissipate. Please. Go away. Thank you. That room. Real? No. Hmm. All these chest traps and I don't have keys. <laughs> Unfortunate, you know? Rat room. How do we find our trap door? Just keep walking around. And when you see a big poof, you just keep walking in that little area. Like just pay attention to the little dust clouds on the ground. That's really all you need to do. Oh man, on Hero Shrine, this room's a nightmare. Mm, sure. Especially if one of the buffed up enemies is jammed. That thing zooms at you at the speed of light, I swear. Let to believe that Secret Room is either off of here or off of Exit Elevator. Yeah, we'll just invest like that. I want to keep all of my armor. I'll just do it like this. And I suppose we'll just open up the green chest for now. Ooh! Better bolts is great. I like that. Pretty tasty. I guess these two will be fine. Sure.
Usually I like having Treadnought follow me around like the outer edge of the room. Usually that allows me to react to like whatever is showing up. Let's bring it down the other way. Just try not to get pinned against the wall there. And just keep an eye out of where you're walking. Because occasionally like he'll throw in like a sneaky ad. And sometimes they'll just be waiting around the corner just shooting at you and you just don't pay attention to walk into it. That's happened to me. On more than one occasion. I like Shell. Shell's pretty solid. Definitely not a bad boss clearing weapon light game if, you know, that's all you got. Just not bad overall, you know. Too bad it's not dropping me keys. <laughs> I really would like a key, please. We didn't even need that blank either. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Break the brown chest. Yes, yeah, what I'm doing. Explode Arena. Oh, all this junk that we're getting. Ran in. That mystical junk it pops out for us. You know what? We'll be in the money. You know? It's not happening, chat. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six of them. <laughs> we have six pieces of junk. I guess, like, if I really want to not be wasteful here, I could just pick a random room to blank in if I don't want to expend too much time or money looking for it. But F it. You know what? Let's do it. Where I think it could be. I think most times out of 10, secret rooms are less likely to show up like extremely close to your entrance of the, the chamber itself. It also cannot be behind any debris. Um, could be this room actually. If you take a look at where the hallways are, you can kind of make an educated guess on where like the hallways typically are, and that's where the secret room cracks slash hallways to <laughs> the secret rooms in general. That's where they would show up. Like, if I'm looking at this room, it probably would be here, here, maybe here. And I guess the top side as well, but there's stuff on the north side of the wall, so probably not. Chest rooms, I think all of them had debris in the way. Oh, debris or, like, an actual other room in the way. But I don't think it was likely for it to show up there. Here? Uh... I don't think so. I don't know, you guys. I don't think it's gonna be here. Uh, this would be a weird one. The only other place I could possibly think of is maybe in this room on this side. That's a big noper doper. Alright, well. I don't think I care enough. So let's just go here really quick. Let's go and blank in this room. Cause whatever. Not here. We leave. We outie. Let's go, uh... Go see Mr. Rat. Make sure we step on rats on the way there. Especially if we see a jammed one. Gotta get all that precious moolah, you know? You know, if any of them turn out to be jammed. <laughs> and down one, down two. Stop jamming things, friend. Okay. I was like, is that it? Still spawning in more? Uh, five and a half? Five and a half. We're at five and a half curse, you guys. No problem. 
down to left three. That's great. That's great. <laughs> I could go to six and a half. Why not? Uh, left and up. Left three. Up four. That's one of my least favorite rooms. A lot of times, I think that's actually one of the ones that has a guaranteed jammed, jammed boy in. That's not good either. Oh, uh, I think Dad rolled a little bit too late on that one. Uh, we're going to get a full refill for this guy, so we'll just go ahead and give it to the homie here. This is below half. Down five left six. I think I'm gonna cool it a little bit on spice at this point of the game. Because we're at, if my calculations are right, we're at six and a half uh, for curse. And I don't want to deal with jammed bosses, which starts at seven curse onwards. If I had more armor, I probably wouldn't really care. But I only have two. We're about to deal with some of the more. Annoying bosses in the game for sure. Uh, who gets the secondary? You? You? Probably you. Honestly, I think Pox Cannon should be fine enough here. But I think, well, yeah, we'll, we'll try for some sling hits. I just think it's easier for right now just because, uh,. I can get poison in, and the poison damage is still going to be super solid. I don't want to stand here. The disaster waiting to happen. Well, I lost one armor. That's okay. I should have blanked the knife pattern. I kind of got stuck in the corner, then... I panicked a little bit once the uh, the lasers popped out for kunai pattern, and that wasn't good. Mm, this should be fine. Actually, it's not that fine, because it's leaving poison creep. It's not good either. Uh, I took too long deciding what I wanted to do with that pattern that I decided the worst plan of action. <laughs> Which was... do not position. Or position terribly for that one. Now we could do this easier, better, faster, stronger. Another good thing about Crosshair Pattern is that it wastes a lot of time for the rat. God, that's so much... So much spice, you guys. Oh, oh too early? Hmm. Hey, Gunsoul. Got a revive mechanic now. Mm, too late on that one. Hmm. One, two, three. 
That should be enough. <laughs> so much spice, you guys. So much. I'm kind of about it, you know. Worst case scenario, I can sell it. Well, we do have a crap ton of armor now. We got choices, you guys. We got choices. I like Vertebrake. Vertebrake 47 is pretty okay. It's got a really nice synergy with Skull Spitter. Just, just does a ton of extra damage. Well, let me let me give you the official word on what Vertebrake's Vertebrake does with Skull Spitter. Vertebrake 47 can freeze enemies, and Skull Spitter fires three Skull Spitter shots. Skulls are linked like Vertebrake 47 shots. So yes, Vertebrake basically gets utility, but Skull Spitter gets a crap ton of extra damage because of the the free the free scatter shot. But since Skull Spitter already homes in. It's just nice damage. <laughs> it's just like one of those energies that you just don't mind seeing, for sure. Uh, anything else that needs to get fully refilled? Actually, do we get a free freebie? Get one freebie. Cool. Ooh, that's the thing that I wanted too. I mean, honestly, I don't think we're gonna go for an, an advanced dragon kill. We'll just grab everything here, and then probably just sell the sun on a uh, four chamber. How much spice do we have? We have three extra in the tank. It's a lot of spice, you guys. Is my sling? You get this. Uh, who gets the big one? I think everything is pretty empty, right? That doesn't really matter. What am I using here? I guess we'll just continue using this because it's it's got higher effective range in Winchester. I don't have to be like point blank for it, so that's okay. We got plenty of room clearing weapons, and we got a, a get out of jail free card too in terms of uh, parsley and cheese. I don't think I'm gonna keep it though, just because it's no pun intended, very cheesy. Yeah, and it could also mean that I can hold on to it and really go crazy with spice, and just lay into the damage. It has so much spice that actually might become a thing, because we, we got so much armor, you know? Mm. I wanna... It's like, I guess like the big question right now is like, do I feel like dealing with jammed bosses? Mm. Too many choices, you guys. I guess I could though, right? This way. I was wondering when we get a, get an actual boss or a mini boss. Here, what up? It's like, what help if I would aim, right? <laughs> More spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. Cool. Yeah, I'll grab that now. This is being very nice to us in terms of room clear. Pretty much old faithful at the moment.
see what this chest is. You know what I'm kind of surprised at, though? Uh-oh. Well, thank goodness for the iframes from table. I keep forgetting, like, how... How long that actually lasts. But I was gonna say, it's just like, I'm surprised we haven't seen a caped bullikin so far. In this run. I'm gonna say that now, and then I'm going to probably accidentally shoot it. As soon as we see it. That always ends up happening. Uh... You defuse? Oh, it doesn't even matter. You're a fakie. You are for free. We will probably invest in selling a lot of stuff here. Just so we got money for Chamber 5. Because usually the blacksmith shop in Chamber 5 has something that we can get. <laughs> like if it's an item that helps shore up some of our weaknesses, it'd be really nice. In this case, it's like I could potentially get something that'll help you know, generate more armor for me or offer me a damage resistance to something. Like getting damage immunity would be... or uh, touch <laughs> damage immunity, holy crap. That's just invulnerability, Chris. Uh, getting something that can give me uh, contact damage immunity would be really nice. Because that means I can move around rooms a little bit easier. Not have to worry about too much in terms of like if I have to run into an enemy. We'll definitely just buy a key. Magic Lamp wouldn't be a bad pickup either, just because it's another boss clearing weapon. And it's nice to have at least two or three in your run, like by the end of this. Like just in case like you run out of ammo on your primary, it's nice to have a backup. You can take out the other enemies faster than Focusing down the jammed enemy. Granted, the one jammed enemy was a pretty low priority one. Low threat. Mm. That's also a fake boy. We love those. Ooh, stout bullets, though. So basically, your shots now have a uh, fall off. Like the further it is from your target, but at close range, the bullets are 50% larger, and it's a crap ton more damage. Let's see, what is the multiplier here? So damage at long range is half the damage at close range. For example, if a gun deals 175% of its original damage at close range, it will deal 87.5% damage at long range. So that's that's some pretty dope damage. Like even if it's at long range, like it's not it, it's not that much of a big deal. Like the times when you can play aggressive and be a little bit close. Or even if standing at middle distance, it's still really good. Like, definitely one of those passives that I'm never mad seeing in any of my runs. Um, actually, is there anything I'd like to steal? Do I need to steal? I don't need to, per se. I can. But you steal the spice, I guess. I don't know, like, even though I have a revive mechanic here, I kind of don't want to go above. Actually, hold on. If we get rid of Blood Roach, because I did talk about selling that earlier, that drops me off one curse, so now I'm back down to five and a half. I can eat another one of these things. Delicious. Now I'm still back up to six and a half. I'm going to keep all that spice, just in case. In terms of the other stuff, I'm never going to use Elemental Earth. Give me that money. Give me that guac. Uh, everything else though, eh. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab this. Just to have it, you know? Let's see what we're working with in here. 
Ooh. I'm just gonna play it safe. I think I, I'm able to read the pattern at this point, but... No problem. If I have it, just use it, you know? Huh. Stinger. Looks like we got yet another boss clearing weapon. Alright, let's get rid of a couple things. I don't think we bother... Well, actually, at this point, I, I don't think it matters too much if we drop a Master Round in. Especially if we just end up using all this spice. <laughs> I don't know, do I care enough to go down to here? A little bit, right? Hmm. Do we do it? Let's see here. I can get myself all the way to nine and a half. I don't think I want to deal with Lord of the Jammed at this point. But I wouldn't mind dealing with jam bosses if we're dealing that much extra damage. Eh. Screw it. That's at nine and a half. I'm gonna sell that for the moolah. I'm gonna hold on to. Yeah, we don't even really need resourceful sack. Because if I have utility belt, I can get rid of supply drop at pretty much any given point. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna sell this too. Hold on to these two, I guess. So now we'll have more than enough money for an next chamber. I'm gonna expend all of this next chamber as well. Get our free... Our free chest. I love it. So do I, dude. Same. But we can afford to be a little aggressive with our, our room clearing weapons. We have such high curse that we should be getting ammo drops at least like two or three times on a chamber and because of like all the damage that we have like it shouldn't cost us a lot of ammo to clear out rooms with this stuff if things get dicey we can rely on parsley and cheese if we really need to but hopefully we won't need to like all the normal enemies like they're pretty much dying in like a single salvo of uh just void core you know so we're gonna hope that we find like more like a like an armor generator here like a gun knight armor piece would be okay hell even something that just gives me movement speed would be okay <laughs> i wouldn't mind a lot of different things but right now that's yeah, fine Like, the thing about taking so many hits of spice as well, too, is that it slows down enemy patterns. So it should theoretically just be easier for me to react to things. Hey, Karen. Bye, Karen. Theoretically speaking, you know. We just need to make sure, like, we're not playing like a dummy. Or we're actually just paying attention to the, the patterns that are incoming and the enemy comp as we get to it. Just making sure we're watching our hitbox and just just how we're moving, you know, intelligently. And if we have to use a resource in terms of like keeping ourselves safe, we just need to use it, you know.
Where's the last one? Oh, there you are. Like, where's the last one? Always destroy the books if you can. The books and the stone tablets, those are super annoying. Use Stinger, you know? Thanks. I'm kind of in like a weird position there, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use it. He ran out of the invincibility, and I have three blanks, so why not? Active up. Okay. Cheese. <laughs> uh, more spice souffle? No, I don't want that. We do get a free item though. Or a gun. Who knows? I don't know. Not yet. It would also help if I landed these stinger shots. <laughs> Look at chest anatomy. Oh. I mean, we're not really going to be using spice anymore. I don't feel like dealing with Jam Jam, so... Sorry, guys. Not today. It is not the time for Jam Jams. Alrighty, what are we working with here? We stick to the basics of room clear here. We got cover, use cover. Identify your targets and deal with either priority or closest, whatever's safer. Because this is like. If it wasn't clear enough in like chamber four, like this is definitely the chamber where room clear starts getting a little nuttier. Because especially like the, the ashen enemy types. Like the bulletkins or the shotgun kin, they can randomly appear, like on the edges of the the wall, in replacement of some of the debris. So if you're not careful, you can like legit just like walk into them. They're pretty dang annoying. There's also a crap ton more gun cultists around. Oh hey, what do you know? <laughs> There's one of the, the dudes there. Like, there's just a lot of annoying enemy types on this floor, for sure. You just have to be really, really careful. And just pay attention. I mean, why though? I know they want me to consume more, but no, I really shouldn't. You know, I'm trying to watch my figure. I'm trying not to be too spicy. I'm trying to be good boy. I like little Pac-Man ghosts. I feel that. I kind of haven't decided whether or not I want to bother with going down to bullet hell? I mean, I guess I could, right? Just haven't decided yet. Oh, hello. I don't have anything I want. Just a little unfortunado there. Go down this way. Oh, that thunder is still not dead? It is now. Shit! 
Mm. Like, I need those to not aim for the lead cube, please. Thank you. Always make sure you destroy those lead cubes after you finish the room. You could be getting some moolah. <laughs> really? Um, actually? He's gonna try to steal this, but that's an A tier. Ah, uh, hold on. I want to set this up because, like, if I'm not going to go for the pass, when we go to our blacksmith, that counts as an S tier. So, hold up. We'll leave that there for now. I'll come back. I'm gonna set this up a little bit weird later. So where are my ammo boxes, dude? Please give me. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, hey, girl. Ooh. I live for that. That's good. Um, I live for this, too. Actually, yeah. You know what? F it. We're gonna go down to bullet hell. Why not? No. I will show you true strength and power. Actually, I do double shotgun. Whoops. Don't leave me alone. Ah, uh, woe is me. Well, you know, at least it's gone. Stupid grip master dude. All up in my grill. Try to take care of the gun cultists. This guy's being annoying though. Stop. You. I honestly don't mind using up all my ammo now for room clear, just cause uh... Yeah... Chamber gun is going to pretty much straight up clear everything for us later. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to use this for this? No, for this? Yeah, for this. Why not? If I can hold two items, I'm going to... It legit... Wow, I didn't know that could happen. Hold up. Yeah, no, okay, I'm not going insane. <laughs> Supply drop literally delivered spice to me. That is actually hilarious. I didn't know it could do that. I thought it was always going to be an ammo drop. That's funny. Alright, what you giving me, girl? Huh. Sure, we'll mess with that. Super hot. Super hot. We are gonna take this. Gonna we'll take that. Gonna munch on this. That is delicious. And we're gonna refill, you know, one of our room clearing weapons later. Um, alright, we found secret room. Let's go ahead and use up all this. Because we want that free chest. That's that good, good. I'm gonna say this time it's probably gonna be... Mm, green item. I want a green item. Green item or blue item? I just want more items. You know? I have an okay amount of items, but not enough. I want more. We've already talked about D-pad before. We 
you do left left fire, you get a sweet grappling hook. If you do down right fire, you get the sweet Hadoken. Scorpion from Mortal Kombat and Shotos from, you know, Street Fighter games. Hello. That's interesting. Are you real? Uh oh, you're not real. You're one of those fake boys. Which we do like, like I keep saying. But this is kind of the annoying version. Come here, friend. Oh. Okay, well, we don't want that though. <laughs> I will pick it up after the fight just so we can have it in our Emma Namakan, but I'm probably not going to keep it. Not a good reason to. Nice. I actually got the the blank pa er, the blank cancel there. I have a beam. I do have a beam. Now a lot of people hate Super Hot Watch. So they're like, oh, it messes with my my rhythm of dodging and whatnot. I'm like, well, you know what you can do. You can just kind of move. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Keep moving. Keep moving. Then when it's time to, you know, actually dodge or weave through patterns, take your time. Take your times. What's faster? This? Oh, wait, that's right. We had to do waterfall pattern. I forgot. <laughs> waterfall. Don't go chase a lot. Oh, no. Can't get demonetized. Well, technically, our channel's not even monetized, but y you know what I mean, you guys. <laughs> That's a one cycle. Yeah. Bow, bow. Hey, look, we have two hearts now. Keep your heart. Two stacks. Keep your heart. Um. Alright, we gotta do this. Think. Now, we are temporarily going to go above 10 curse. However, comma, I'm dropping it. I just wanted in the Amonawakan. That's really it. But it's time for the dumb stuff, as they say. Now, Unicorn Horn is interesting, right? It's actually not a bad uh, boss clearing weapon. The longer you have it trained on a boss, like it just does continual damage, like most beam weapons. But if you keep it on a boss long enough, it starts out or it starts shooting out different or uh, uh, additional beams, kind of like a free scatter shot. Granted, that takes a long time for it to happen. And generally, at least in a hero shrine run, it's definitely not worth the one curse to bring in. Uh, Lord of the Jammed, but, you know, it's not bad to have in general, you know? Uh, honestly, at this point, our damage is kind of nutty. We have a lot of armor. You know, F it. You know what they say, chat. F it. Right? We're just going to hold on to it for the victory run. Because you know why? This thing is going to do so much damage. We're going to eat all the spice. This is super nice. And we're gonna go down here. We'll show you the, the strength of the chamber gun. Again. I feel like the second or third... Well, the first time we went to Bullet Hell, we actually had chamber gun. And it's really, really stupid. I am gonna get rid of this, though. See if I could get that traded. Wow. Alright, well, so much for that, right? <laughs> Give me that. Riddle of Lead. This item is insanely stacked. I'm surprised we finally got it. Like, it took this long. Riddle of Lead, you guys. Grants a heart container, fully heals the player. 
decreases damage by 30%, player speed by 10%, uh, increases dodge roll, table sighting speed by approximately 15%, and when at one heart or less, which is what we are at right now, 50% chance to negate damage. That means we get even more value to our armor. And 50% chance to just not lose it. You know, F it. This room's annoying. A lot of jelly balls here. Waka waka waka. I can, like, just simply. Oh, I'm on fire. I can tap fire, and even if an enemy is jammed, it's dying because of how much damage we do. Like, immediately. And it doesn't even matter if, like, I'm just chilling in a corner, it's fine. Like, this thing is hitscan. It's stupid. It's lovely. It can- oh. It can Julian fries. I hope I get to keep that ammo box. I think I do. Like, one of the best defenses you can have in this game? Just kill things. <laughs> Just annihilate them before they can even think about firing on you, right? I think that's the true meta. <laughs> Just obliterate them. Make them rue the day. Like, I can't even really commentate on room clearing here. Because there's just nothing to do. Everything just kind of explodes into a million pieces. I feel like I should just continually go for room clear. Like, do like an actual full clear on this floor. Because we're just going to keep getting more and more spice. And we're just that much closer to just breaking damage cap if we're not already doing that. Which, if we can break damage cap on this weapon, that's funny. <laughs> I would thoroughly enjoy that. I think in a previous video, we already talked about navigating bullet hell. I'll have to take a look. I think I talked about it on the same video where we got chamber gun down here for the first time. Sure, look at that. Because you know what? More spice is nice. You. Getting to the point now where, because I have such high curse, it's trying to spawn in ammo boxes, but I think it's just dropping in spice instead. Just like how it happened with the uh, that supply drop. Which, if that is indeed the case, I, I find that hilarious. I, for one, welcome our spice overlords. When someone, when someone ever asks you, how much spice should you take, you just answer them, Yes! Granted, again, context is key, right? It, it kind of depends on like what you have protecting you. In this case, like I have a, a really nice fallback. I have partially eaten cheese to help protect me. In case I get to a really sketchy spot. But because our damage is so high, it, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, we're not dealing enough damage with just this. So I think I'm actually might I can actually switch to a different weapon if I wanted to, but eh, I don't know. That's fine. I 
Hello, Mr. Damage Cap, in essence, is what we're saying. I guess we could try... This bigger... I, I guess the sling actually might have better base damage. Like a a reflected or bounce um, sling actually might give me damage cap break. Maybe. Yep. Yep, it does. I'm not going to get a, a bounce on the next arena, though. It's too big. It's very, uh... Sketchy. Actually, no. We are. <laughs> the two and a half bonus that we get versus bosses... No problem. As long as my individual shots are feeling... Per instance, higher than a thousand damage. Hey, Jam Jam. Bye, Jam Jam. We are breaking that damage cap. Easy. We should have just been using sling in the in the er, like in the first place, man. That would have been a free damage cap break for every stage of Lich, regardless if it was er, jammed or not. Those high base damage weapons, man. They are ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and skip through this. Let's go ahead and take a look at our items. A lot of dumb stuff here, man. Spice is always nice, you know? We keep saying it, and it... It never fails. Like, we were able to go all in on Spice. We had a lot of safety behind us. We had a good amount of armor. We picked up, you know, that partially eaten cheese as kind of a, um... Kind of like a little backup in insurance policy, if you will. And it, it paid dividends, honestly. A full clear under an hour and a half? Like, that's not terrible. Like, got a lot of good stuff. I mean, we also had a secondary um, insurance policy in terms of gun salt, but we didn't even have to... We weren't ever really in danger of having to use that. And then getting chamber gun for, you know, bullet hell clear? Ugh, disgusting. Anyway, you guys, um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to uh, put it down in the comment section below. I try to read every comment, I promise. Um, make sure you join or follow the Twitch channel and join the Discord server. I'd like to say hi to ya. But guys, until next time, good luck in your runs. Bye-bye.